these things how secure or how easy is it to get information from your business when all it has to be dropped on is to a USB port you know flash drives and such how about smartphones how about tablets how about laptops all these things that you're using is a way to be able to get information out of that business let me go back to Ryan You'll see in a slide in a few minutes where we talk about how the number one way that identity theft is, is, is gained by the thief is through mail theft. That's what you hear. It's all rampant in the news all the time. Not according to the thief. The thief says the number one way is to bribe it. The number two way is to get, actually get hired at the place where he wants the information from. And he would do that in both cases. He had a real large case of people that he would pay for to get that information and buy it from staff members, right? So then, of course, there's the cloud. So now that secret file that you had down on lockdown is now put out into a file that's now in the cloud. So it is literally left to business. Now, then there's the question of equipment today that is tethered, right? So tethered, you can put you know, two cell phones together and share information just by touching them. You know, you can have cases where through, 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 um, even RFID situations and there's a couple others where the technology will allow you to simply walk by somebody and get, gain that information <laughs> right now so how does that affect this information of yours if it's on a device that you don't have control over so what happens is you know I talk about that coming soon well no it's here now interesting thing about the technology is what we were fascinated about brand new technology last month is old news this month. <laughs> it's forgotten about. It's old news. Right? So businesses need to have a policy before it's too late. Okay? Now, I would suggest to you that even if you have a home business and you've got people that you're working with that are keeping information of yours because there's an affiliation of some kind, you want to be concerned with this. What I basically boil down to, and I'm going to skip through some of this faster than I would normally because it doesn't really apply to most people here. Um, but the whole idea here is to have a policy and an understanding of this as you start to use this technology, not afterwards because you can't back up. Right? And what it basically boils down to is have an understanding with the people that you deal with. These are some of the percentages of, of how it's affected in terms of business today. You know, 71% have experienced an increase in security incidents. Yeah, no kidding. It's because it's now outside of your control, right? And, and so there's a lot of information here in terms of somebody wants this, let me know and I'll email it to you uh, without spending a lot of time in it because as I say, it doesn't apply to most of the people here. So it's a matter of defining the eligibility of situations and understanding the use of situations and, and, and is it necessary? And if it is necessary, how do you actually handle this? Okay? Pam, if you want, I'll send you some of this stuff. Can I ask you a question? Certainly. It goes back to your buddy used to bribe employees? Yes. Or literally pay them like it was a payroll. Do you, how do you, how do, you do that? Would he target the vulnerable or the, the broke or the, yeah. or the dis disgruntled? One of the industries that he found, quite frankly, was the stores in the wellness industry was one. One of the biggest ones that he found was uh, the tanning salons, for example, the young kids that would be working in tanning salons. You know, and it's figures like, you know, how would you like to make 10 grand? You know, if you're on minimum wage and somebody offers you 10 grand, it's like, what do I have to do? <laughs> you know, five grand, any kind of number, you know, is, is interesting, okay? What kind of... Uh like information would he, would he buy up them though? Um, the files that you'd have. As a, as, as, a, as a fitness trainer, you would have information about that individual in terms of, 
of, of you know, obviously uh, things like credit cards and things like that, but it goes beyond that. You've got actual, uh, perhaps some medical information, you've got some, some fitness information, you've got things that make up who that person is. 